Hi, my name is Paul Seuss, and I would like to welcome you to the SICE Academy for Metrology. This tutorial will introduce new functions in Calypso 2016. The new features include automatic illumination, a function that considerably reduces programming work. Another improvement is the ability to modify the region of interest. This function allows you to interactively change the location, size, and orientation. The final new feature is the definition of the edges of a region of interest. To modify a region of interest, open the corresponding feature. Clicking a feature allows you to change the size and angular range of a circle. The shift key allows you to change the size asymmetrically. Adapt the location of the region of interest to your needs. The strategy enables you to change the search direction or align the optical search field to the nominal geometry. This can also be done using Alt-D and Alt-N. In the line feature, you can modify the region of interest through rotation, for example. The extended strategy allows you to adjust the length to your needs. To activate automatic illumination, please define a scanning line with two points. Now activate automatic illumination in the illumination properties. The illumination settings are tested automatically. The setting that provides the best contrast for this edge will be used and avoids over illumination. The defined illumination parameters can be saved and set for the feature. This setting can be configured in the Feature Strategy or in the Feature Settings Editor. If the saved illumination is added to the feature, this feature will always be measured with this setting. If the illumination is set to Auto Light, automatic illumination will be used for each measurement. In the past, programming the region of interest on small features was very time consuming. Now you can define the required edge under edge settings. Create a bigger region of interest. In this example, circle auto path scanning with two or more edges. The fourth point on this circle path also defines the direction for edge selection. Now open the edge settings and using the edge number Define the edge on which you want to create the measurement points. This can be either falling from light to dark or rising from dark to light. That's all for now. I hope these new functions will improve your experience with Calypso.